I think it's very important for an offensive lineman to do some particular drills each and every day to warm up. So what I'd like to do now is, is we're going to go through a series of what I call our warm-up drills, drills that we do to uh, before we start practice to get a little bit of extra work in, can get you ready if you're working out on your own. So let's take a look at the uh, warm-up drills. Our first warm-up drill is our hip drill to gain hip flexibility and strengthen our hips. Let's take a look at the hip drill. And what we do with this drill, this is a drill that uh, a player could do on his own. He can do it with a partner. You don't have to have pads. Uh, it's something you can do each and every day. It's our hip drill. And what we're trying to do here is work on our hip flexibility strength and continue to build the strength of our hips because that's where the majority of our power is going to come through. So what we'll do is partner up uh, uh, each player and they'll put a hand on the, uh, their uh, partner's shoulder. And what we're going to have them do is lift up their right leg straight out to the side under control, pause and bring it back down and do that for uh, five reps. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Start with your right shoulder, lift or your uh, hand on the shoulder, lifting your right hip straight out under control and down. So go ahead and do that five times, straight out, straight down. And do it uh, under control, you're not swinging it. The higher you can get your hip, the better your flexibility. So you're working to get more height every single time. And you're controlling it, so not only are you building strength, but you're also increasing that flexibility. So out to the side five times. Okay, now let's switch it up and let's go the other way. Left leg out to the side five times. Go ahead. Lift, under control, and bring it back down. Lift, under control, bring it back down. You can tell that some of these guys are, are deficient in hip strength. Because when your hips get to where they need to be, you can stand straight, you can lift it up under control, pause, and bring it back down, okay? And as you gain strength and, and flexibility in doing this drill, you don't have to turn, you don't have to bend, but you can stand straight and lift that hip straight out to the side. The higher you can get it, the better. Pause and bring it back down, okay? We set with that one. Okay, the next one we'll do is we'll put our hand on our shoulder, we'll use the right hip again, or the, uh, we'll start out with the right hip, we're going to lift it up as high as we can, and then we're going to twirl it forward five times, bring it back down, okay? So lift it up as high as you can, twirl your hip and your leg forward five times, okay? Hands on shoulders, sit, up, and twirl five times in a circle, small circles, okay? Again, we have a lot of uh, deficiency in the strength of our hips here, but we're working on them. Okay, bring it back down. Next, we're going to do is we're going to bring that hip up. We've just twirled it five times forward. We're going to twirl it five times backwards. Okay, hands on shoulders, hips up, up, and twirl. Control it, control it, control it. And again, the higher you can get that, and the more control you have, the stronger you'll be in your hips. Okay, bring it back down. So we will repeat those drills with our right foot our right hip with our left hip. Then the next one we're going to do is going to be our hurdler. So you're going to put your hand on the guy's shoulder and you're going to work on lifting your leg and bringing it over as high as you can as if you were going over a hurdle. Okay? Hands on shoulders. Set. Go. Right hip. As high and as far as you can. Five times. Up and over. Up and over. The more rotation that you have, the better your flexibility, the better your strength. Again, you should be balanced. You shouldn't be falling over. You should be able to stand on one leg and lift that hip up and roll it around. Okay? Then we'll switch off. Let's do it the other way. Left foot, left hip. Set, go. Bring it up and over, under control, without falling down and having balance. Okay? Good. So this is a great demonstration of your core strength, of your hip strength. And it's something that can be worked on every single day. And if you don't have great hip flexibility and strength, you're not going to have a lot of success as an offensive lineman in moving people. So it's a great warm-up drill you can do each and every day.